Hello guys, today I am gonna show you how you can retrieve the picture from your contacts inside scenes inside Tasker. So I have here a fake contact called Dave Fake and we have also his number and email etc etc. But the important thing for us right now is the picture. So how can we retrieve that picture? Remember also the phone. 11 22 33 because we're gonna use that later on the first thing we need to do is work with scenes if you don't know how to use scenes please watch my previous tutorials as well i've explained how to work with scenes so let's create a new scene and let's make some tasks inside tasker so let's open tasker here we are inside tasker so let's create a new scene first. When we click on scenes, we're gonna make a new scene. So click on plus and I'm gonna call it my contact. Okay, and we have here now our scene and let's resize that a little bit. Something like that. Okay, let's go back. And we have here our contact, my contact. Let's open that. And that's our scene. So the first thing I want to do is make a background. So click on plus. And we're going to use a rectangle. And we're going to choose a color. And the color will be something like that black and no opacity. Okay and we click on the back button and we have our rectangle let's resize that to the whole scene something like that for example and let's add now a picture so let's click on plus and we use here image we're gonna give it a name, for example, contact picture, something like that. And let's go back. We have here our picture. Let's resize that also a little bit. I'm gonna use the tool resize. Resize and let's put it a little bit bigger. Something like that. Okay, I'm happy with this. So let's go back. So that's the only thing you have to do inside your scenes, okay? Remember, my scene is called my contact. Let's go back to our task and create a new task. So for example, I'm gonna use the same name. And here will happen everything. So let's start up our task. So the first thing you need to do is go to the plus button and then you click on misc here. And you look for test and then you have type data and store result in so in type you will choose contact photo URI so let's open that and here you will find contact photo URI let's select that and inside your data is the number of your contact. For example, I'm gonna use the number of my fake contact. And that was 11, 22, 33. So let's type this inside that. Okay. When we look for this number, we're gonna use the photo. And we're gonna store that inside a variable. And I'm gonna name that, for example, my contact pick. Then go back. Okay, we have our picture right now. But that's not inside our scene yet. So we're gonna load our scene. So we're gonna click on the plus button. Then we're gonna use our scene. Then we're gonna show the scene. And we're gonna choose our scene clicking on the magnify glass and we use my contact 
that was our scene. Okay, and we're gonna use overlay blocking for example, and also we're gonna use an exit button here. If you want, you can make your own exit button as well. So we're happy with this, and let's go back. So the first thing it does, it will get our picture from our contact, then it will show the scene, and now we have to change our scene. So we click on the plus button, then we're gonna use scene again, and now we're gonna use element image. And then we're gonna choose our scene name, and that was my contact of course. And then we have several elements inside our scene, and we have for example only contact picture. So we're gonna use an image, and we're gonna choose which image it will show. So for that you have to click on the double arrows. And then we see a variable, and our variable was my contact pick. So let's put that inside it. Okay, and let's go back. So we have now three actions. The first is retrieving our picture from our contact, then show the scene, and we're gonna replace an image by a variable. So let's try this now. Click on the play button and let's see what happened. You will see here the image of my contact and let's close this. Also remember here inside the first action you defined which image it will be. So when I click on that you can use inside data also a variable. So for example, when you receive a message, it will be SMS or N. Also when you watched my previous tutorials about auto contacts, you can also use EC number. And then it will show the picture of that contact. So that was all for today. I hope you found this interesting and let's have a nice day.